neither a Sith nor do you bear the medallion. I see. And who might your friends be? On your way, citizen. You are neither a Sith, nor do you bear the medallion of a student of this facility. Please, leave at once. No one gets inside, citizen. Messages and deliveries must be relayed through official Sith channels only. You must be admitted to the Academy. That decision must be made by a Sith who has already been accepted here. The final decision, however, remains with Master Yathura. I believe she is currently at the cantina if you wish to seek her out. Now go. Is there something you need, Jedi? Make it good for I have little patience. Who am I? You must not have been in court. Luckily for you, I am in a charitable mood. I am your Ban, second only to Master Uthar of the Sith Academy here in Dresde. I am the one who decides which of the few of the many hopefuls who travel here to train actually become a Sith. Why? Is it your desire to enter the Academy? Is that why you are here? Ah, so you are just another hopeful after all. Or are you? There is something odd about you that I cannot place. Obviously you are a Jedi. One who is very strong in the Force, it seems. So were you a part of the Order for very long? Did they train you? Perhaps not. Perhaps all the difference in the world. Either way, you possess enough raw power to intrigue me greatly. With that kind of power, you could become a great Sith. Perhaps, if I let you. Does that interest you? Hmm. A strange response indeed. Is your mind maladjusted in some way? You should make for an interesting pupil indeed. I will take you to the Academy, and we shall see if you are ready to join the ranks of the Sith. I have only one other question. These companions of yours, they will not be coming with you, I presume? I... yes. Yes. We are only servants to the... the Master. There is something odd about this servant of yours. No matter. Make sure they don't disturb your training or cause trouble. You are responsible for them. Now, are you ready to go to the Academy? Then let us leave. The Master of the Academy awaits you. Greetings, prospective students. It appears we have a late entry. Who do you bring before me, Uthura? A young human bristling with the Force? A human that has had some training, it seems, Master Uthar. Very promising, I think. I met this one in the colony. Unworthy, if you ask me. That I'll judge for myself, thank you. Tell me, human, what do you know of the ways of the Sith? What preconceptions has your mind been polluted with? An honest answer, and one I would expect from anyone who has been exposed to those sad relics amongst the Jedi. As always, young human, the truth is not quite so simple. The Jedi equate the light with goodness and strength, and the dark with weakness and evil. That is their tradition, and it is truly no surprise that they cling to it for comfort. We, however, do not treat the Force as a burden. We treat it as a gift, a thing to be celebrated. We use it to acquire power over others. And why should we not? Because the Jedi say we should not. We are as the Force is meant to be. The Jedi would hide that from you. 
they would tell you the dark side is too quick, too easy. All so that they need never challenge the passions that lie within them. Joining with us means realizing your true potential. It means not stifling yourself solely for the sake of hidebound shamans and their antiquated notion of order. Be what you were meant to be. What say you, Lasho? Are you ready to learn the secrets of the dark side? Dare you? I dare, Master Uthar. I am ready. Brash and fiery, as expected. Turn that passion to your advantage, child. What of you, Meikle? Are you ready? I am, Master. More than ready. I sense much anger within you, young one. That is good. That will provide you power. And Shardan, what of you? I am always ready. I see. You had best gather your wits for the trial ahead, boy, or you will not last. And you, young human, does this interest you? Are you ready to learn more of what I speak? Are you? Now then, all of you five recruits have shown a degree of facility with the Force. You all have the potential to become true Sith. Only one of you, however, will succeed. The one who succeeds will be admitted to the Academy as a full Sith. All others must wait until next year and try again, if you survive. My pupil, Euthura, shall be your teacher and master while you attempt to prove yourselves. Heed her words. As Master Uthar said, none of you are true Sith yet. For that to occur, one of you must do enough of worth, gain enough prestige, to be selected. What is an act of worth? You must learn that for yourselves. Remember that you are competitors here. Fight for your destiny, or go home. If you wish to gain a lead over your competitors, the first of you to learn the Code of the Sith and tell me of it will be rewarded. The rest is for you to discover. Welcome to the dark side, my children. Your one chance at true greatness lies here. Ah, there you are. My... F Absolutely. By my estimation, you are... As a matter of fact, I am so certain of that that I'm willing to offer you an opportunity of the once-in-a-lifetime variety. Would you like to hear it? Good. I do so adore someone who's willing to take a chance. As I said, you're no doubt going to be the one whom Uthar chooses to become a Sith. With my help, of course. Once that occurs, he will take you into the Valley of the Dark Lords to the tomb of Nagasado to administer the final test. There you and I will be alone with him. The perfect time to, shall we say, arrange for a change in the Academy's leadership? The tomb is an ancient ruin on the surface that was visited years ago by Darth Revan and Darth Malak. They discovered a star map there of great importance. Darth Malak went there? Very interesting, isn't it, Master? Reaching that map, as they did, is part of the final test. At any rate, it is not the tomb that is important. That Uthar will be alone is what is important. Is that such a daunting prospect? It is not as if I am asking you to perform the task alone, or as if you will get nothing out of it. Master Uthar cannot prevail against us both. That's all there is to it. It is a very simple matter. And so it should. It is central to our beliefs. It is my responsibility to replace my master when I am strong enough. I suppose you could do that. Even the hint of betrayal from his pupil and Uthar would move to eliminate me. But this is a very good opportunity for you. You can start off your Sith career as the right hand of the head of the Academy. Me. Uthar will not offer you that. Do you believe Uthar would not be aware of this? He would quickly figure out what you have to gain by betraying him, and would never believe someone would pass that up. Tell Master Uthar what you wish. Were I you, I would think first of what the consequences of such an action might be. 
My part in this is to help you gain enough prestige and slow down the progress of the other hopefuls. I want you in that tomb when the time is right. We destroy Master Uthar together and I take his place. And you take your place at my side. A beautiful plan in its sheer simplicity. <laughs> you must not know much about the Sith yet. If Uthar were even to suspect that I might be trying to supplant him, true or not, well, let's just say he wouldn't likely stop to ask too many questions before ensuring I was dealt with. I'm so glad you see it, my... I will begin to make preparations for your final test. Your only worry now is to get there. Don't disappoint me. A peace is a lie. There is only passion. Through passion, I gain strength. Through strength, I gain power. Through power, I gain victory. Through victory, my chains are broken. The Force shall free me. Simple words, yet easily misunderstood. Would you care for me to explain anything? I am not surprised. The Force is strong with you. Master it. You have had an excellent start. Go. No problem. Didn't work. If Master Uthar gives you an order, you'd better follow it. There were some students who disobeyed him. Greetings, student. Oh, uh, hello. I don't remember seeing you here before. My name is Kel. Kel Algwin. I... oh, uh, nothing. Yes, my master always says I'm too trusting, too willing to show weakness. You're a Sith, so I, I really shouldn't... you know. Oh, I know that. I mean, you aren't yet, but you intend to be. I mean, you're just like everyone else here. I, I, I didn't mean it like that. I, I, I shouldn't trust you. I, I can't trust you, can I? No, no, I shouldn't bother you with it. For I, um, yeah, forget I said anything. Just go back to your training, please. I have work to do. Uh, well... Oh, hello again. You're, uh, doing... Of course. It's full of ancient Sith ruins from a time before the Sith left this region of space. Rather exciting, really. I've, uh, never studied it myself. Couldn't help you much. If you're really interested, there's a fellow by the name of Dak who's out in the valley now. He knows plenty about it. Uh, well... You? I remember you from the colony. I can't believe you actually made it into the academy. My name is Lasho. Remember it, for I'll be the one who earns the prestige to move on. You'll have to be satisfied with next year, I suppose. Do run along. You have a long way to catch up, after all.
remember you. You're all right. Trying for the Academy, I see. The name's Chardin. Didn't I tell you that back in the colony? Maybe not. I don't work or play well with others. Thanks for the offer. How may I be of assistance to you? What is it you would like to speak to me about? After my father died, my mother was left to support me alone. A single, non-human woman, living in one of the worst, most violent slums on Terrace. It was not easy for her. When my father was killed, it seemed that something in her began to die as well. She worked. She worked as hard as she was able. But over time, she began to waste away. I later learned that she was unable to get enough money to feed both of us, and had to start borrowing from the exchange. A band of cutthroats and smugglers. But even that was not enough. She hid what she was doing from me. She gave most of her food to me so that I would be strong, but she herself was suffering deeply from it. In the end, she could go on no longer, and collapsed at the cantina where she worked one day. She never recovered. There was nothing really that I could do for her. She left me no money, and no doctor would see her without being paid first. I sat by her bed for days as she lay there dying. I never want that to happen to someone I care about ever again. But there was still the money she had borrowed. She had never paid it back and made no provisions for her death. You must understand. The exchange is brutal. They care nothing for the life of a sentient being. They are the major suppliers of slaves on Terrace. They thought it would be appropriate that, with my mother owing them money, the debt should be passed on to me. And with no way to pay, they took me by force. You have no idea what it is like to be bound like a beast and treated as such. It was the worst time of my life. They treated me like livestock. They were waiting for a buyer to give them some credits for me when the Jedi came to fight the Mandalorians. The Jedi could not abide by what they saw there and drove the exchange from the face of the world, freeing those of us imprisoned there. But the Jedi soon left to fight their war, and I was left with a dream. I swore that I would become a Jedi. As soon as I had enough money to do it, I bought passage on a freighter headed for Dantooine, and we both know what has happened since then. I am grateful to you for having given me the opportunity to fulfill my dream, rather than become what I hated. Someday, I may make it up to you, but for now, let us keep on the task at hand. It's a bad year to try and become a Sith, you know. I've got it all wrapped up. That's right. You might as well just go home, you know. There can only be one Sith this year, and that's me. You think I would tell you? Have my brain started dribbling out of my nose or something? I could. But what would be the point in that? See you around, chump. You hanging around still? Don't you have your own plans? Not that they'll help you. I'm in for sure, you know. You think I would tell you? Have my brain started dribbling? <laughs> Funny. Say that after I'm a full Sith and I'll ground your face into the dirt just for fun. You take a wrong turn somewhere? Dustal, is that you? Oh, lovely. It's Father. Figures you'd show up after all this time. How did you manage to get inside the Academy? Cute. I wonder how interested Master Uthar would be to know just who he has in his whip. Unless you've switched sides, Father. But I doubt that. 
Just why are you here, Father? Not for me, I hope. Couldn't you have gotten yourself blown up on some ship and spared us this reunion? Dussel, what, what, what are you talking about? I, I thought you were dead. Too bad you didn't still think that. Or did you really think I'd be happy to see you? Look, everyone, it's Father. Come to rescue me at long last. Sure, he may have left Mother and I to die on Telos, but that doesn't matter. No, I didn't abandon you. The task force just arrived too late. Telos was in ruins, and your mother... I held her while... But I looked for you. I swear I looked everywhere. Ah, oh, save it. You abandoned us long before. We were alone all during the wars. And even once you came back, you still didn't stay. I didn't have a choice. I was needed at... Yeah? Well, you were needed at home, too. You were needed when the bombing started, and I got captured. You know what? It doesn't matter. Not anymore. I have a new family now, a family that cares about me. I don't need you. The Sith? You can't mean that. No, the Sith killed your mother. The Sith destroyed Telos. So? You're the soldier, father. How many mothers have you killed? No, you've been brainwashed. The son I knew would never... You never knew me. You weren't even there to know me. So don't presume to tell me what I would or wouldn't do. I don't know what's been done to you, but you are coming with me out of here, now. Touch me, old man, and I'll kill you. Get out! Get out of here before I tell the Sith that you're here! I don't need his protection, not anymore. The Sith give me everything I need. You can't mean that! The Sith are... they're evil! They're the dark side. They, they took me away from you and your mother. They're, they're what took you from me. No. They are not evil. They're not. The dark side is superior. And you, you were at war long before they came along. The Sith war to conquer, to rule the helpless. I went to war for you, Dustal, for your freedom, your future. <laughs> I don't believe you. If I failed you, son, then it's, it's my failure. Please don't add to it by becoming part of something evil. Prove it. Prove that the Sith are so evil, and I'll, I'll think about it. I'm not gonna follow you around, forget it. If you're caught, they'll just think I was betraying them. I'll stay right here. I won't tell anyone you're here, for now. You find some proof, and you bring it to me. If I hear you asking questions about me, or doing a single thing to jeopardize my position in the Sith, I swear I'll tell everyone what you're up to. You got that, Father? You prove what you're saying is true. I'm not going anywhere otherwise. I got it, Dustal. I'll be back. I swear it. Back already? So tell me, Father, where's this proof you promised? Well, I don't have anything. Yet. But I have- Yeah, well, that's a surprise. I gave up on you a long time ago. So did Mother, for that fact. Please don't say that. Whatever. Just go, if you're going. I have things to do. Greetings. You're one of the new hopefuls, aren't you? I imagine you're eager to garner some prestige for Master Uthar. My name is Tamlin. I'm assigned here to the library, mostly keeping it up to date with new discoveries and such. I am adding new entries into our library's database based on the excavations in the valley. Currently, I'm working on a Junta Paul, quite a fascinating subject. Ajanta Paul was one of the first of the great Sith Lords, at least according to the ruins here on Karaban. One of the tombs he wielded a... According to legend, Ajanta Paul forged a sword imbued with the essence of the dark side. 
someone who found it could gain considerable prestige. Some unsuccessful attempts have been made. I truly don't know why a more concerted effort isn't made, however. Well, the legends say the sword had dark power, but that may only be a story. We will never know unless we can examine it more closely. I imagine you've got a lot. Sorry, I don't have time to speak. My training waits. Huh. Maybe you can do better than I. This Mandalorian is proving more resistant than I expected. I'm trying to get him to tell us where his weapon cache is hidden. So far, all the serum combinations I'm using are proving ineffective. If I bring his drug threshold too high, he'll go into shock and be useless. Too low, and he just refuses to talk. It's been maddening. Certainly. Uh, just don't kill him or send him into shock. He's supposed to be questioned, not executed. If you manage to get the location of his cash out of him, Achuta. Wonga could be stolpy, Kikuyana. Don't. Gepuna! Kava dumpa, ku pailea, muka bata! Jiyoko ku dumpa, ku pailea! Puna, Kava Dumpa, Ku Palea Muka Bata. Puna, Kava Dumpa, Ku Palea Puna, Kava Dumpa, Ku Palea Muka Bata. Tioka Ku Dumpa, Ku Palea. Puna, Kava Dumpa, Ku Palea Muka Bata. Tioka Ku Dumpa. Une Puna. Puna Cabo Dumpa, Cupalia Puna
Nandayata. What, what have you done? I told you not to put the prisoner into shock, didn't I? Now how are we supposed to find out where the weapon cache is? Yutha will be furious. Ha! I may as well take this fool and dump him somewhere. He's useless to us. I cannot believe you are so incompetent. Master of the Academy, Jorak Ulm.
back already. So tell me, Father, where's this proof you promised? Well, I don't have anything. Yet. Yeah, well, that's a surprise. Please, whatever. Greetings, young one. You have much to do yet. You have gained little prestige. You will have to work quickly if you hope to best the others. Then finish the code as I speak it. Peace is a lie that is only... Through passion I gain... Through strength I gain... Through power I gain... Through victory... The Force shall free me. Yes, good. You have indeed learned the code of the Sith. Speaking the words and knowing the words are, however, two different things. Tell me then, true or false? It is our passion that fuels the Force. Well done. I will test you no more. You know the code. Very impressive. Go now. You have done well, but you have not impressed me enough to declare you the victor. I have matters to attend to. Oh, it is no more complicated than I said. Perform impressive deeds, or bring me a suitably valuable artifact from the Valley of the Dark Lords. Oh, so it's a popularity contest, basically. Wonderful. Really, however, you should seek out Euthura and get her advice. She is your trainer, after all, yes? You wish to know more about me, do you? And why would I indulge your idle curiosity? Will we be good friends, you think? I strived many years to hone my power, until I was able to drive out my predecessor and rule the Academy. If you are smart, you will aim to do the same, or better. There is nothing else you need to know. Do not ask again, young one. Oh? What is my apprentice up to now? I see. It is good that you have come to me with this information, young one. It is a bit... ironic that Euthura has begun her plotting. I have been aware of her growing ambitions for some time, and had in fact already decided to remove her. Normally, the one who gains the most prestige would engage in a final trial. Two of the students would fight. This time, it will be Euthura who battles, though she does not yet know it. Perhaps it will be you who combats her. Yes, perhaps so. This is what you can do. Give this pad to Adrenus. He will put some poison in her bath. This will weaken Euthura for that final test, making her an easy target. Rather generous of me, don't you think? I'd love to know what's going on in that tricky mind of yours. For coming to me with this information and betraying your foolish trainer, I feel you are worthy of prestige, young one. Go now. You have not yet impressed me enough to declare you the victor. I have matters to attend to. Very well. You have impressed me. Definitely a good start.
You? I remember you from... My name is Lasho. You hanging around still? Go ahead. The former master of the academy, Jorak Ulm, is supposedly hiding out in the hills on the surface. <laughs> I'm one of the academy trainers, of course. You'd do well to watch your tone with me, hopeful. I'll be one of your instructors when and if you reach your final test. <laughs> As if I didn't have better things to do. Has anyone told you about Jorak Um? He is much more than a simple hermit hiding in the hills, as you say. We are talking about the former master of the Academy. If you've already been told about him, there's little more I can tell you. With luck, perhaps he'll kidnap you and you'll get a chance to see him for yourself, huh? Now be gone. I have better things to do than chat with lost hopefuls. Dong abog sha um ni Chigra <laughs> How do you do? I am a trainer here at the academy. Do you know of our renegade students? It seems you have already heard of... There is little more I can do now.
아추다 뭔가 군비 돌비 기구였나 돌파 나 뽕과 내가 Sith really are. The second tomb on the left within the valley is the tomb of Naga Sada. It is off limits. Sorry, I can't talk. We have to excavate this valley with hand instruments. There's all kinds of old traps left behind that still work. Greetings. I don't think I've seen you at the Academy before. Here to investigate the ruins. My name's Dak Vesser. I'm assigned to the Valley Ruins, as you can see. We've been painstakingly uncovering these tombs for many months now. Dak? That is you, isn't it? I, I, I hardly recognized you. It's been a long time, Jahani. What are you doing here? Did you fall to the dark side? I didn't fall, Jahani. I had my eyes opened. And don't look at me like that. Last I recall, you were having your own doubts. I was. I'm not anymore. Dak, you could... Save it. The Jedi aren't for me. Not anymore. Look, I'm not going to ask why a couple of Jedi are here in the Valley of the Dark Lords. I don't want to know. It's better that I don't. In fact, I'll just get out of here and leave you to whatever it is you're planning to do. Fair enough? Running away? Again? Why not? It's what I do best. Yes. Isn't it obvious? I don't want to talk about it here, however. I don't think there's much to talk about. Have it your way, Jahani. You always do. Look, I don't want to be here after you leave. There'll be too many questions, so ask what you have to ask, and I'll be on my way. Well, it seems that the Sith once inhabited Korriban a long time ago. There was a fortress here that was destroyed at some point before the Sith abandoned the planet completely. Why they left, we don't know. Perhaps the Jedi drove them off. The tombs in this valley are the only parts of the fortress we found mostly intact. Some. Most of the interesting stuff is still in the tombs, but Master Uthar prefers to leave them to be explored by the students as a challenge. In time, they will probably become safe enough for us to enter. Until that time, however, we're stuck to digging up the valley piece by piece. There's four tombs here. On the right are the tombs of Ajunta Paul and Tulak Horde. On the left are the tombs of Marco Ragnos and Nagasato. All four were ancient Sith lords. That's the first tomb on the right. 
There's a rumor that there's a powerful artifact still in there, but nobody's retrieved it yet. That tomb supposedly has ancient battle droids and traps that are still functioning. It's amazing that their power sources have lasted so long, really. That's the farthest tomb on the right. We don't know much about Tulak Horde, unfortunately. The Takata have a nest in that tomb, I think. A local pack animal that's very dangerous. Occasionally the guards track down a queen and kill it. That usually pacifies them for a bit. That's the first tomb on the left. Someone mentioned that a crazy droid has holed itself up in there, but I don't know much about that. It's the second tomb on the left when you enter the valley. Nagasato was the leader of the old Sith Masters here, we think. Darth Malak found something in there a while back, however, and ever since then only Master Uthar can enter it. No. A lot of the discoveries are kept secret, even from the students. I only heard that Darth Malak found something there by rumor, to be honest. So do I. Goodbye, Dak. And thank you. Goodbye, Jahani. How may I be of assistance to you, Padawan? What is it you would like to... There is little to tell. Dak and I were both Padawans. We joined the Order at the same time. He was a kind man, but frustrated. He felt the Jedi were too controlling, too limiting, more so than I did. When he decided to leave the Order, he asked me to come with him. He... He, he said he loved me. No, I didn't. I enjoyed his company as a friend, but nothing further. I had no idea he felt as he did. He was angry at my refusal. I assumed that he would get over the hurt in time. I suppose such feelings can fester and darken, and they never go away. He reminds me of what I was when you found me in the grove. I... I feel sorry for him. But he has chosen his path, hasn't he? If I thought he would accept an offer of help, I would give it. Let us just move on, please.